Hello? Good afternoon. I'm calling for Chloe, please. This is Chloe. Hey, Chloe. This is Ashley over at Fitness. How are you today? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm great. So I'm calling for a couple of reasons. First of all, you know, I just wanted to check up on you, make sure you're enjoying your membership with us. We actually call all of our new members at the end of 90 days just to make sure that they're happy with everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've been loving it. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking of, like, I'm going three times a week or so now. Oh, well, well that's great. Uh, anything we can do to make your membership more enjoyable? Um, no, not really. Like I said, I, I actually really love it here. Just keep up the good work. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Um, so the other reason I'm calling is because every once in a while, we have to remind our members about our policy on what we consider appropriate attire. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just that we've had a couple of complaints about some of the things that you've been wearing to the gym. Wait, wait, wait. okay. Some of the things that I've been wearing? Yeah, specifically the tight pants. I mean, the outfits that show off your skin, the little aerobic suits you've been wearing. The employees here call them stripper suits. Okay, just hold on. Okay, first of all, are are you sure you're the right person? Oh, yeah. Trust me. (laughs) We're sure. Okay, because when I come to the gym, I wear the same thing that I see on almost every other woman I see there, so... Are you sure about that? I mean, I don't see every other woman walking around our fitness center like she's selling herself for the evening. Okay. All right. Well, excuse me. First of all, all, how do you know that I'm very happily married? And I'm also a mother, so I don't really know where this is coming from. Yeah, see, I know. And that's what makes this all so much more embarrassing. I mean, just maybe cover up when you come work out. That's all. Believe me, nobody wants to see your goodies. Okay, how the f*** am I supposed to cover? I wear yoga pants and a t-shirt and what's... Okay, occasionally I might wear a spandex top, but it's over an undershirt, so listen, I don't listen. really understand. Listen, we don't have to go over your embarrassing, tacky wardrobe piece by piece and talk about everything that's wrong with it. That would take us all day. But um, all we're asking is that you please dress more modestly when you visit the gym. That's all. Okay, but I'm wearing the exact same thing as everyone else. In fact, there, okay, there was, just yesterday, there was a young lady, and she was in one of my pub classes, and she had these tiny booty shorts and a tank top that you can practically see her nipples through, so I don't hear you saying anything about that. Well, like you said, she's a lot younger than you, and honestly, she probably looks great in something like that, but you, on the other hand, I mean, like you said, you're a married mother. Do you really think dressing like a backup dancer in a Cardi B video is appropriate for a woman of your age? Oh, I cannot believe that I'm being talked to you like this. Um, you know, I would like to speak to a boss or supervisor or like well, Whoever's um, in charge. I, I'm the manager of this location, so I am the boss. Okay, this is ridiculous. You can't just tell customers it's okay to dress one way because you're younger, and then it's tell another customer or whatever that, oh, you're a mother, so you need to cover all the way up. And da, well, da, 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 I mean, da. It's, it's not just that. As you know, we have cameras located around the gym, and we've also been reviewing some of your behavior at our facility. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, did you say my behavior? I mean, did I stutter? I mean, seriously, those little pretend stretches that you've been doing where you basically are just sticking your butt out for our male customers to stare at? We don't encourage that sort of thing. What are you thinking? Okay, if you're referring to the completely normal stretches that I do before working out, then you guys are seriously crazy. (laughs) No, I mean, of course you can stretch. I mean, it's one of the most important parts of a workout, and we encourage all of our customers to do it. But maybe try not to look so much like you're sticking your crotch out in front of our male customers, like you're open for business or something. I mean, look, I get it. You're a little bit older. You're a mom. You want to feel young and sexy again. But I'm pretty sure the guys who go to our gym are not interested in having a sugar mama. Okay. Okay. I just want you to shut your insulting mouth and listen to me for one second. I have never, ever been so insulted by a professional business in my entire life. I can't believe the judgmental stereotyping you've been giving me because you just started this phone call. And you better believe that I plan on reporting you and telling everybody I know I'm going to go on Yelp and on Google. Everyone, everybody's going to know to boycott your gym. Okay, well, does... Everybody include your friend Jennifer? Yes, it absolutely includes her. Okay, because she's the one who filed all of the complaints against you, and that's why we called you. Um, Also, this really isn't the gym calling. This is the Z Morning Zoo on Z104, and you just got phone scammed. Uh, Oh, 
Oh my god! I oh, I cannot believe this. I was I was just so, I was shaking. I was so angry. Like my hands are literally shaking. I was so upset. <laughs> well, you could take that nervous energy and just use it the next time you go to the gym.